Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade Windows 10 from 32-bit to 64-bit. Uh, the process is very simple, so let me just close this. First thing we want to do is make sure that your system is actually capable of running 64-bit uh, Windows operating system. Uh, the only thing you need is a 64-bit processor. Um, to check if your processor is 64-bit compatible, you can come to this URL. Um, I'm going to post it in the description below as well, so you can just click on it and go to there. And if you download, if you click on download now, it will download a little tool that you can run to check if it is compatible. So if I just double click on it, yeah. Uh, so we can see here it lists uh, what model your processor is. And here, maximum bit length, it says 64. So because it says 64, it means it is compatible. If it says 32, then your system is not compatible because yeah, that needs to be 64. So the next thing we need to do is download the Windows 10 install media. So if you go to this URL, again, I'll post it in the description below so you can just click on it. and under here create windows 10 installation media if you just click on download tool um, i've downloaded it already once it's downloaded just double click the tool uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a windows 10 install media so we can create a bootable dvd or usb drive okay so on the first screen click on accept on the next screen, select this option, create installation media, click next. And here, if you just make sure that 64 bit is selected there and click next. So if you want to create a bootable USB drive, select that. If you want to create um, a bootable DVD, select ISO file and click next. Uh, Yeah, it's going to say where you want to save the file to. Uh, once you've saved the file, I'm not going to download it now because it's, I think it's about 4 gig. It'll probably take about between 10 and 30 minutes. Once it is downloaded, all you need to do is right click on the file and click on burn to disk. Uh, and then obviously make sure there's um, a blank DVD drive in your machine. And, and then once it's burnt to the DVD, if you put your DVD or USB drive that you've just created into your machine and reboot your machine. Um, I'm actually using a virtual Windows 10 here so I can just put it there. So as we can see that's the Windows 10 DVD drive. Um, yet yeah, before we reboot the machine actually one thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got the product key for your Windows 10 install. So if you just come to the command prompt if you just to paste in this command and hit enter it's going to list your product key underneath there i've actually just blacked it out you can't you can't see it because obviously i don't want you using my product key um, but if you make sure you get that product key before you install the windows 10 64-bit operating system uh, please be aware that this is going to completely wipe your whole system there is no way of just upgrading from 32-bit to 64-bit without formatting your drive. So please make sure you back up all of your data before you go to this next step. Uh, again, I'm going to post this command here in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it on your machine. You don't need to type it out. It will save you a lot of time. Uh, so now your Windows 10 Media is in your system. We need to uh, reboot the system. So I'm just going to restart here. Okay, again, I'm going to say make sure you back up your data before you do this step because we will be formatting the system and removing all the existing data. Uh, when you get prompted there, um, press any key and it's going to boot to the install. So first screen, obviously select your region. So I'm in the United Kingdom. Next, install now. Okay, accept the license agreement and click next. OK, 
okay on this screen if you click on custom and if you just select delete if you delete both petitions okay and then create new if you just leave it default it, it will use all of the space available okay it creates this petition here because it, it needs it for certain operating system files so click next okay this bit's going to take a while so i'm just going to pause the video okay when the files have finished uh, copying and installing it's going to reboot your machine uh, if you get prompted here don't press any key because it needs to continue the install Okay, now it's rebooted, it's going to ask us a few questions. So if you click on Use Express Settings, Just to let you know, I'll keep on pausing the video. The the installer keeps on rebooting. It's rebooted four times now, so just let the process uh, continue. Okay, so okay, it's asking me to sign up here. So if you select join a local Active Directory domain, click next. Who is going to use this person? Okay, so I'm going to put my name in there. If you type in a password twice and a password hint. Okay, looks like the process is almost finished. So telling us we're happy you're here for a second time. I'm getting excited already. Okay, we're finally at the desktop. Um, on the right here it says, do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? Uh, so typically if you want to share files between machines, click yes. If you don't want to share files between machines, I typically click no because it's a bit more secure. It's just putting a rule into the local firewall to block um, certain ports and certain programs. Okay, if we click on the Windows Explorer icon in the taskbar, uh, click on this PC, just right click and go to properties. So we can see here now, it says system type 64-bit operating system. So what we need to do is we need to activate this Windows 10 now. Um, so we got the license key from before. So all we need to do is click on Activate Windows. And click on Activate. Oops, sorry, don't, don't click Activate. Click, click Product Key. And if you enter your Product Key in there, um, if you didn't get your product key from the command line before, usually there's a sticker on your desktop machine or laptop with the Windows 10 uh, product key. So if you just type that in, and then once that's been typed in, if you click on activate, uh, it will then activate Windows 10 for you. Okay, so once you're activated, if you go to Windows Update, it's obviously recommended as soon as, you, as you've installed the operating system to run Windows updates and install every single update that um, is available for your system. So if you click check updates, it's going to go to the Microsoft Update website, it's going to find the latest files, it will then download them and install them. Uh, once you've installed them, reboot your machine and run. come in here and run this process again because you might need to do it two or three times. Um, there'll be hundreds of updates to install, so expect that to take probably an hour plus. 
Um, apart from that, make sure that you download and install antivirus onto your machine. That's very important because we don't want to get viruses because then we'll be repeating this process of um, reinstalling Windows again and also lose um, some files. Um, yeah, that's everything I've got to show you today. If you have any questions about the process, uh, please post them in the comment below. Um, I'll help you out if you if you need help and you're stuck. Uh, but thanks for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.